is completed. We had here we had completed rope extension 2.7. 2.7 is also completed. Keyhole completed is 1.2 kilometers and is also completed. We have Marshall Road is 21 kilometer is also completed. We have Copper Farm Rehab Road is 0.5 kilometer and is also completed. We have the Dahlia Case Corner School Road is 1.16 kilometer and is also completed. We have the Park Land Road is 1.5 5 kilometer 6.5 sorry we have the Kakatan city street is 8.7 contract was signed but it's at zero percent we got chalky Taylor road at bishop michael francis road 1.8 kilometer is also completed we got focal mission road 1.8 we got uh looking town broad street 1.8 kilometer is also completed we have dry rest market johnson field Mark Barclay is 11.5 up to date. We have 11.1 kilometer completed. We have Johnsonville Coffee, Mount Coffee Plant, 11.5 kilometer up to date. We have done 1.5 kilometer completed. Door completed 2.7 is completed with 14 military hospital is 1.8 is also completed with. River Views in Port Bridge Hotel Africa, we have 1.5 kilometers is also completed with 12 horses bypass road, 2.0 kilometers is also been completed with we got 24 24 street completed beach side is one kilometer is also been completed with we got Waver Street, Metallic Church Police Academy Road 0.8 Kilometer is also being completed with Uga Coffee Road. Point eight kilometer is also being completed with Uga Basin Hospital Road. Is also point eight kilometer is also being completed with Uga King uh, King Kizito Red Lake Road. Point eight kilometer is also being completed mm -hmm. with. We have Dwaka Road opposite EAW Hospital GSA Road. We got two point five. Is 2.5 is also being completed with. We got ELWA ABC Road 2.5 kilometer and 2.5 kilometer is also being completed with. We got VOA R2 completed road is 2.5 kilometer is also being completed with. We got Barclay Vale City Street pavement is 2.5 and 2.5 is completed with in Grand Coup County. We got Greenville City Street. It's 2.1 kilometer and pavement is up to zero, but there are a lot of progress that have been made for, for pavement in this dry season. We got Bapolo City Street, it's 2.5, it was 2.5, progress is zero percent, progress have been made for pavement in the dry season. We got Lakbasi Zoo Road, it's 2.0, 0 percent, we got LOIC Road, LOIC Road, 2.5 at zero percent. Matadi Drive is 0.9 at 0 percent. Popo Beach Road 1.5 is at 0 percent. We have PCA Nizo Road is 1.5 kilometer and is also at 0 percent. We got the Bernard Farm Road is 3.2 is at 0 percent rate. Nisual Complex Bypass is 1.5 is at 0 percent rate. We got Fontaine Town Road. 0.65 and it's also completed within the Matadi community. Ladies and gentlemen of the price, when we inherited these projects, our focus was, was completion. We saw that the development of roads was about continuity. As we were not focused on initiating what could be called signature projects, but instead rich development to the, the places that contracts have already been signed as envisioned by His Excellency Dr. George Manewia. We were for the brief about the vision and agenda of His Excellency, and from day one of our appointment, we were fully prepared to move the agenda forward. Now we're standing. We all are aware that the road challenges of our country runs from Mosserado County to, Ma to Cape Mount from Bond to Lofa, Nima to Grand Chile, Maryland to Grand Cru, 
in Sano to Riverses. As Minister of Public Works, we initiated some road, major roads and community roads in various localities. So we'll start with the World Bank project. We rehabilitation of the expansion of Cocoa Factory to Yenebe Junction Road, 6.1 kilometer. And to date, the progress of work is at 5.99 kilometer pavement, out of 6.1 kilometer. The design of the roundabout at the ELA junction is completed. Construction work has started and is intended to be completed the first quarter of 2024. Project affected persons were compensated. Funds allocated to address impact on petty traders in, in, in the environs of rail lead is also being identified. Rehabilitation of Ganta to Sake Pier Road, which is 39 kilometer. Our, the milestone achieved, the contract was signed June 2021 to December 31st, 2023. Today, the progress that we have made on that road is the asphalt boundary code is around 20, 20 kilometer, asphalt wearing code is around 16 kilometer, and it, it is paved out of 39 kilometers. Alternative plan to commence the secret was dis disclosed during the government of Liberia and the RDA as part of the 2020 mission by the World Bank in Liberia. GOL, which is the government of Liberia, committed to fund low the total amount of 36.4 million United States dollars under the National Road Fund, under the National Road Allocation, to intervene during the 2020 to 2021 budget year. Construction such uh, uh, a season of 39 uh, kilometer road section between Kanta to Sakibe using limited international bidding method to procure contractor and consultant. The work commenced January 2nd, 2021. Rehabilitation of Sakibe to Tapeta Road section, which is 61 kilometer. Contract was signed January 2022, and uh, to date, the progress to date to December 31st, 2023, the physical progress is around 21%. Mobilization was completed. Campsite construction complete. Campsite construction is completed. Clearing gravelling of 37 kilometers is also completed. Subgrade preparation of 15 kilometers. Sub-base preparation is also completed. 20 four kilometer prep covered or the 41 numbers sorry sub base preparation of 24 kilometers is also completed prep covered 41 numbers or the 96 cover lines was also completed bus covered 10 numbers or the 14 numbers is also installed project affected persons are compensated The, the project is being financed by the government of Liberia and the World Bank through the LRTF. Let me make emphasis on the one just in the way I just read the Sakepia to Tapeta section, section is all this is 61 kilometer, and then this Ganta to Sakepia is 100 funded by the government of Liberia. I just want to highlight that. Rehabilitation of total. Road section, which is 40 kilometer, 40 kilometer, the milestone completed is about the contract, the approval of the World Bank already approved the project. The procurement process was completed with a contract was signed in August 2023. Negotiation to conduct a biodiversity field studies is in progress. Disbursement to contract to to contract to follow up. Conduct of the BFS report is completed and disclosed. So the contract is signed, and within six months, the contractor will start implementation. So we have the retrapped. The first one was called retrap one. The second one is retrap two, the rehabilitation of Arico Bola to, to Total Town in Zredu City is about it's around 85 kilometers. And uh, total progress or the what we are achieved. Is the project preparation, the appraisal, the negotiation, the World Bank have already approved that finance. Effectiveness of signing financial agreement 
ratification by legislature, insurance of legal opinion by the justice minister and all required are the next steps that are required. Honor the Ganta the Sunny Code Road, which is 37 kilometers. We did not sign this contract, but we made this contract at 25%. And the current at, at the completion and ready, we made this contract at 25%. Currently it, it is it is completed, it is ready for dedication. And the contractor and the contractor is Chico. The consultant is SE. E as from Senegal, CSE, the ministry will need to engage with the Asida method for the second phase of the project that will take us from San Nicole to Yekipa, which is about 30 kilometers. The upgrading of Bankar to Salaye Road project is around 81 kilometer. We did not sign this contract. We made this contract at 24%. The current start of this project now is 94.4%. It's around not, uh, 67 out of 81. It's fully asphalt paved. The contractor is Chico, and the consultant is, uh, is Saudi Arabia. Project financial status is being funded by the Arab donors and the government of Liberia. Preparation of road sector development. The road sector development was developed in May 2023 on a funding from the World Bank. And it is the framework of guarding the prioritized and transport infrastructure investment in Lib that grew over 10 years. The RSDP was validated in May 2023. The next step required is to roll out the RSDP, the African Development Bank project. The pavement of Fishtown to Kelipo is 20 kilometers. We signed this contract. The contract was signed in June 2022. The signing of the contract and the commencement of work was done. The physical progress is at 64.8% completion. The contractor is Chico, and the consultant is Ishem through Ishem and Besson Associate Limited. Pavement or sunny college to look at is 41 for the 7.1 kilometers. The contract was signed in November 2020, met the contract at 31 percent, and the current start of the work is around 70 percent. The contractor is Channel Railroad number seven. Roadside market construction in Camplay. Contract was signed in, in 2023. The completion starter is 27%, and the contractor is BK Enterprise Engineering Consulting and Construction Services. Consulting Services, Kelly Porter's Radio, Detail Engineering Design and Feasibility Studies, Consulting for the Kelly Porter's Radio to the River G Consulting. The contract was signed in 2020, October 2023, and the Serial Consulting Limited Associate with, ABK, with BK Enterprise are the contractor on this consultancy contract. The services have already started. Construction of one shop border post, Kavala border, completion of the designs, and ongoing procurement is ongoing at this time. Kavala border post bridge. The design is completed and the procurement process is ongoing at this time. MAE Consulting Services for the African Development Bank project. The contract was signed in June 2023 by the Vision Connection Service Private Limited Associate with Max and Partners. The progress of completion is around 25%. Urban mobility and inland water feasibility studies in Morovia in, in its environment. The contract was signed in August 2023. The contractor is Maritime and Transport Business Solution MTBS. And the service, the progress of the project now is around 90% completed. 
supervision of consultancy services for Putuken to John Darius Town, which is 50 kilometer. Approval from the African Development Board and PNA ratification by the legislator. Procurement process for the supervision consultant services for Putuken to John Darius Town is ongoing. Additionally, as part of the package, detailed engineering design and feasibility studies. Consultancy service for Vonjoman to Monikuma Consultancy and also part of the package and is also ongoing. Consultancy services from John Davis Town to Zuelu is around 85.5 kilometers. The board of the African Development Bank have already approved this project. Detailed engineering design and feasibility studies, consultancy studies for Vonjoman to Monikuma, like I said, is also part of the package and is also ongoing. So current negotiation for the coastal corridor from Bikera to Sesto, Sesto Junction to Greenville, Greenville to Barclayville, Barclayville to Clevo, we started negotiation with the African Development Bank, and we hope to continue as a government with the bank. The Equas Bank projects. Construction of Barclayville, Cloney, Sastan Road project, which is 96 kilometers, started, achieved, Finance, financing agreement ratified and signed by the legislature mm, mm. and the president respectively. Consulting, consultancy contract for the detailed engineering design, drawing and development, development of BOQ and tailoring process are also signed. Detailed engineering studies, design, drawing are also on going. Now we'll go to project the government of Liberia project. We start with the RIA road, which is 45 kilometers. The project concession agreement amended and signed into law by the legislature and the president respectively. Satisfactory progressing the five kilo, with five kilometers out of 15 kilometer section for the ELA junction section from RIA, sorry. Satisfactory progressing five kilometer paved out of the 15 kilometer section from ELA junction towards the RIA. 13 kilo, three kilometer of the left hand side paved out of the 10 kilometer section from the RIA road towards the ELA junction side. Contractor is East and the subcontractor is China Railroad number five and the consultant is Eastern. Rehabilitation of Rawa Spot to Medina Road, the contract was signed and the progress of the work is around 15%. The contractor is West Africa and is, is supervised by the Ministry of Public Works. Construction of Freeport to Simple Bridge, bridge to bridge project is 6.5 kilometer. Contract was signed and the work is ongoing. The contractor is MDNC, is being supervised by the Ministry of Public Works. Construction of Grand Basa Community College Bridge the contract was signed. The physical progress is around 25%. The contractor is Jupiter Construction Company and is being supervised by the Ministry of Public Works Technical Division. Construction of Bali Island, which is one Bali Island access road. 3.3 kilometer. The contract was signed. Contract is due for payment and the contractor is QJO Construction. Construction of Cecil Street paving, the contract was signed and the work is ongoing and the contractor is standing. Construction of Dokota Bridge in Babalu County, the contract was signed and the progress of the work is only 2.4% completed and the contractor is Arrow Group of Companies. Construction of Baboon Bridge, the contract was signed, the contract is completed and the contractor is standing. Contractor, construction of Kenya Beach Road, the contract was signed and the contractor is signing and the contract is also completed. Construction of Vahun Bridge, the contract was signed, the physical progress is around 20.2% completed and the contractor is Afro Construction. And the contractor passed me his soul rest in peace also. Installation of street lights, on major road within Morovia to ERA Junction to Broad Street, Broad Street to Simple Bridge, Puebla Road, Archbishop Francis Road, Chucky Taylor Road, SKD Boulevard Road, 
old road. Construction of Pedestal commenced in September 2020, hence leading to the inauguration of the commission of the streetlet from Eerie Junction to Vamoa by His Excellency Dr. George Manuel We are on October 1st, 2020. Completion is at 80%. Eerie Junction to Bolo Eerie Junction to Eskari Boulevard Sar Work Construction Project jointly implemented by the Armed Forces of Liberia and the Ministry of Public Works. That works were also completed. You know, uh, contract was signed and the work is completed at 100%. Requisition of F moving equipment for the Ministry of Public Works. Contract was signed, concluded a procurement of 42 pieces of F moving equipment for the purpose of the Ministry doing intervention works intended to keep our unpaved road corridors pliable all year around. 27 pieces have been supplied and delivered to the Ministry of Public Works. The contractor is yet to supply the rest. In total, the Ministry of Public Works was able to pave about 400 kilometers of roads from 2020 to 2018 to 2023 honor the regime of our president, President George Mane Weir. Members of the fourth exchange, while the Ministry of Public Works is heavily engaged with construction of roads, the Ministry could not sort out all of the challenges within six years of this administration. Key among those challenges was financial, the COVID pandemic, and climate change situation also led to many projects being stored and in some instances abandoned. To close, let me clarify a few allegations and misinformation that were aired by the U.S. indicted criminal who headed to prison, Stanton Waterstone. He and some of his ill informed panelists accused me of awarding contract to my husband in tune of in the tune of two hundred and sixty thousand dollars for road works. I want to state that very clearly here that my husband was never been awarded contract from the Ministry of Public Works since we challenged the spoon show on these allegations, character assassination, blackmail. They are yet to prove the allegation, which is side for the secure media profession. I hope the LACC does thorough look into this matter to close the chapter for good for my character and that of my of that of our society. I became aware of the contract awarded to Blico by the National Road Fund with all my approval through the front page Africa in, in January, on January 8, 2024. Edition Blego Un by Sebastian Collins, who has no relationship whatsoever with my family. According to the nature of the contract based on the report was a consultancy contract. Whether the contract went through PBCC or met all requirements as required, needs to be answered by the road fund manager. For all I know, I have seen, for all I know or have seen about the contract and available at the press conference has not, has got nothing about me. My signature of the Ministry of Public Works. Sebastian is not my husband, neither related to my husband or my family. I have never met this person and did not know him or how he was awarded this consultancy contract. Finally, I want to state here that we take pride in every work that we did and remain happy that we drove His Excellency Dr. George Manon Weir role at Janet in a phenomenal level. I wish that Joseph Numa Boaka administration all the very best, especially my will be successor. I will always feel proud of our collective achievement to develop our infrastructure, especially our road infrastructure. I encourage staff of the Ministry of Public Works to remain engaged and focus on the tax at hand. I served and understood the tax and challenges with unity, commitment, confidence. This ministry can deliver on its mandate and connect the viewer roles. 
Our nation will remain on an irreversible path with professionals, go-getters, and committed individuals with huge integrity that we brought at the ministry. We remain honored to have served our country at a level. May God bless our nation and may God bless every one of us. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we need to take questions. Just five questions. Can you say your name and your information? That's the voice of Manavu.